Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Let's meet the four players. We're hoping to win thousands today. I'm Mark, a delivery driver from Suffolk. I'm Beverly, a teaching assistant from London. I'm Liam, a customer service advisor from Cardiff. And I'm Georgie, a therapist from Lancaster. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. Now, mind you, we start with three counties. Questions are on the buzzer. You buzz and give me a correct answer. You'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will have £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. One of those drops for you, double the entire value of your drop, and should run four with the jackpot counter. At the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. However, do remember, the player with the lowest score at the end of this round will leave the game with absolutely nothing. So keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Okay, hands on your buzzers. Here comes your first question. According to the common phrase, someone's basic income is known as their bread and what? Georgie. Butter. Bread and butter is exactly right, Georgie. So you get the first correct answer. You make the first choice. Would you like to play or pass? I think I would like to play then, please. Okay, where are you going to play? Drop zone one. Right then. Drop zone one for Georgie. There we go. Rattles and steadies oh. itself. Do it go flat. Yep. Yes, it is. Yes. Yep. Good position. Yeah. See if we can get something over. Georgie, good work. Is the double's going to get close? What a start, Georgie. <laughs> Goodness me. There's eight counters across the tipping point, which is £400. But one of them is the double. So we can double up and give you another £400. That's an amazing £800. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. Thank you. Put you on £800. You've still got two counters left to play. OK, next question. Who is the famous father of pop singer Enrique Iglesias? Mark. Julio Iglesias. It is Julio, yes. Now then, Mark, would you like to play or would you like to pass? I think I'd better play, please. Okay. Where are you <laughs> going to go? Drop zone four, please. Right, we'll have drop zone four for Mark. <laughs> okay, there we go. Settled Could nicely. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. There's a mystery Ooh. down there as well. Might get that close, Mark. Come on, please. No. Oh. It does get it close, but it won't drop. You did get one counter out, though. That's £50 right there. It's a start. It is a start. Let's take it and put it into your bank. Put you on £50. You've got two counters left to play. Next question. Which thick woolen coat, typically with a hood and a toggle fastening? Georgie. Duffel coat. It's named after a Belgian town and famously worn by Paddington Bear. Yes, it is Duffel. You're absolutely right. Duffel coat. Right then, Georgie, where would you like to put your counter? Or would you like to pass? No, I'd like to play, please. Okay. Um, and I'd like to go to drop zone four, I think. All right, drop zone four, please. <laughs> Stays on its edge again. It worked nicely for you last time. It is flat. Mm. So you had an epic first drop mm. a moment ago. What can we get here for you, Georgie? Not for much anymore. Oh, oh <laughs> wow! Six counters this time, Georgie. You're rinsing the machine here. Three hundred pounds. Let's take it and put it into your bank. Put you on an incredible one thousand one hundred pounds. And you've also got your hands on a prize as well, which is an overnight stay for two people. It's fine dining at Coolcott Manor Hotel, courtesy of Pride of Britain's Hotels. Brilliant. Well, a lovely prize too. That, yeah. yeah, too yeah, right. Brilliant. Now you've still got one more counter to go. Next question for everybody. Farfellini is a variety of which staple? Georgie. Pasta. Italian food stuff. Yes, it is a sort of pasta. Now, would you like to play your last count or would you like to pass it? I'd like to play, please. Thank okay, you. where are you going to go? I'm going to change again and I would like to try drop zone three, please. Okay, let's have drop zone three. See if we get something this time. Two great drops till now. But it's flat. Oh, that's yeah. it out nicely as well, Georgie. Got a good one pushed wow. up again. Wow! <laughs> that's amazing. Six counters again, Georgie. Another 
pounds. Let's take it from the machine and put it in your bank. And goodness me, you've managed to get £1,400. You have used all three of your counters, though. So thank goodness for everybody else. You are, for the time being, out of the round, Georgie. But very well played. Right then, Mark, you've still got two counts left. Beverly and Liam, you both have three each. Here we go. Next question for the three of you. On which of the Balearic Islands is the Spanish city of Palma located? Mark. Ibiza. No. It's on Mallorca. It's on Mallorca. We have to steal a counter from you, Mark. That's going into the panel spot. You'll all get a chance to play for that at the end of the round. You've only got the one left now, Mark. Next question. The animated bird that first appeared with his distinctive laugh in a 1940 cartoon called Knock Knock is called Woody Who? Mark. Woodpecker. Yes, Woody Woodpecker. That's more like it, Mark. Would that a play or would you like to pass? I want to play uh, Drop Zone 2, please. OK. Drop Zone 2 for Mark. Please be nice for me. <laughs> Nice and settles nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Good draw, could be good. There you go, yeah, that's nice. Let's see if we can get you some money to add to your £50. Oh. 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 One more counter does drop, and you've set them quite delightfully. They're going to need a little bit more help, but let's take that £50 and put it into your bank. Which you one £100, Mark. You've now used all three counters, so for the time being, you are out. So it's just Beverly and Liam left in. Next question for you. What is the three-letter name of the hand tool that a carpenter commonly uses to cut a piece of wood? Liam. Saw. In half. It is a saw. Well done, Liam. Would you like to play or would you like to pass it to Beverly? Um, I'll have a go at drop zone two. Right, drop zone two then for Liam. Mark's just left a lot on the tipping point there. Let's see if he can take advantage. Slides out nicely. Okay. Just fills the hole on the top shelf. Oh, nice, fair enough. <laughs> so nothing goes just yet. You've got two counters left. Next question for Beverly and Liam. The American crocodile belongs to which class of animals? Liam. Reptile. Yes, it is a reptile. <laughs> so would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'll stick with drop zone two. Uh, hopefully I've set it up nicely. Yeah, enough. let's do it. Far up two, please. That's going to be a mean one, isn't it? Oh, you've got to go. There you go. It is riding, but keep your eye on the bottom shelf because it might work nonetheless. It does. I'll do. And the top one is just riding, so I don't think that's going to help. Oh, it might. No. No. Nope. But you did get three counts from the first yeah. drop there. Okay. So let's take £150 from the machine and put it into your bank. That's just going to sneak you ahead of Mark. My £50, you've got Thanks. one counter left to play, Liam. Okay. Next question. In geometry, how many degrees are there in a full circle? Beverly. 360. There is 360, yes. Now, would you like to play, Beverly? You've been waiting very patiently. Yeah, I think I have a go. Okay, where are you going to go? Drop zone two. Let's stay with it. Far up two, please. Oh, now, it's a bit tricky on that side. Could be good. Okay. Oh, oh, you got a rider as well, Beverly. That's so cruel. You might knock the other one on top, though. Might do. I'm going to go on top. A little, oh. little nudge, but nothing more, I'm afraid. So nothing from your first drop. <sighs> got two counts left to play. Next question. Which day of the week is named after the only star in our solar system? Beverly. Today. It's not Saturday, it's Sunday. The only star in our solar system is the sun, Beverly, isn't it? Not the sat. <laughs> I'm afraid we had to steal a counter from you. That's going to go into the penalty pot. There's now two you'll all be playing for at the end of the round. We've got just one counter left now, Beverly. Need to use it wisely. There's nothing in the bank yet. Next question. A painting or statue referred to as the Madonna commonly represents which female figure from the Bible? Liam. Oh, I was going to say Venus, but that's not from the Bible, is it? And that's um, not right, Liam, I'm shoot. afraid. The Virgin Mary, Liam. Oh, yeah. The Madonna is the Virgin Mary. I know, it's not uh, Venus, that's a silly answer. No, so I'm afraid we're going to have to steal a counter yeah. from you. That goes into the penalty spot. Mm -hmm. There's now three that you'll all be playing for at the end of the round. Liam, you have now used all three counts. You've got £150. Yes. For the time being, you are out. Right then, Beverly, it's just you. Because it's just you, you don't need your buzzer, but you do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put that final count into the machine. Here we go, Beverly. Mare's tail 
is a colloquial description of what type of visible weather formation? Rain? It's not rain, no, it's a cloud. Hey. Sort of cloud, I'm afraid. So Beverly, we've had to steal a counter from you. That's gone into the penalty pot. So as things stand, George has 1,400 pounds. Liam has 150 pounds, just ahead of Mark on 100 pounds. Beverly's got nothing in the bank, but it's not over. You've all been very, very generous. There's four counters up for grabs in the penalty pot. So I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, you put all four counts into the machine, and of course everything could change. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Good luck, everybody. Here comes your penalty pot question. Someone described as Glaswegian is a native or inhabitant, Mark, Scotland, of which Scottish city is what I was going to say, Mark. Oh, you're wrong, I'm afraid. So we have to freeze you out. Right, so Beverly, Liam and Georgie, you get another penalty spot question. Here we go. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, if something is triplicate, it comes, Georgie. In threes. In how many corresponding parts? Three. Yep, you're absolutely right, Georgie. You got there first. Sadly, Beverly, that means we're going to lose you at the end of the round. Georgie, you've now got four more counts to put into the machine. Where do you want to go first? Drop zone two, then, please. Okay, fire up drop zone two, please. Straight in. Just rolls its way over to the left-hand side there, Georgie. It's flat. Oof. So let's see. Good luck. Thank Doesn't you. look bad, does it? That bottom shelf is very heavy. Oh. There's some glare. So that's three across the tipping point, Georgie. 150 pounds with the first of your four premise spot counters. Three more to go. Where now? I'm going to stay with drop zone two, I think, Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Fire up drop zone two. Very quickly. A bit late then, really. Was a little late, yeah. yeah. You might have got away with it, though. Oh, no, it's riding. Oh, is it? It's riding. So nothing from that one. <laughs> two more to go, Georgie. Where now? Drop Going zone two. two, please. Fire up again, please. Took his time to come down, didn't it? It did. Steady, it looks good though, Georgie. Yeah, that's is it, flat. Is it not riding? No, it's flat. Mark thinks it looks good as well. Let's see. Oh, it's gone into three. It has slipped laterally into three. And four more counters dropped. So another £200 for you. That means you're up to £350. Okay. Still got one more to go. Where would you like to go with this one? I'll stick with um, zone two, please. Drop zone two? Yeah. Let's do it. Fire it up, please. That's flat, that could be bang on it. Oh, just Ooh, took a little shift. Rolled, it is it? flat. It's moved into a nice spot. Anything to Gosh. add? Yes. Here we go. That's a big <laughs> That's a big one. Goodness me, Georgie. Is there more coming? Wow! <laughs> what a finish! Georgie, that's another 12 across the tipping point. So another 600 pounds. From the penalty point, you've got 950 pounds. When we take that from the machine and put it into your bank, you have absolutely smashed the tipping point record for total in it's round slick. one. £2,350 is amazing. Wow. That means that Georgie is leading with £2,350, just a little ahead of Liam on £150. <laughs> Mark's got £100. Beverly, I'm so sorry, but that means with nothing in the bank, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Lovely to meet you, Beverly. So join us after the break to see which of the other two players can do their best to try and catch Georgie and make it through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit.